Hello and welcome to Gender Equality Talk Season 2, hosted by CNS. In these talks, we hear from people on the front lines striving for gender justice worldwide. Global voices demanding that progress must be on track to deliver SDG 5 gender equality by 2030. These talks cover a range of issues around gender justice. With us today, we have Goste Ones. Welcome, Goste. Pleasure to have you with us today. Goste works at the Rosa Alliance for African and Arab States. The Rosa Alliance is the regional advocacy for women's sustainable advancement. Goste's work involves advocacy around gender equality, women's rights, climate justice, sexual and reproductive health and rights, elimination of gender-based violence. Goste is from Turkey. She's currently living in Italy. Hello and welcome, Goste. So happy you're there with us today. And thank you very much for me also. It's a pleasure to talk with you and talk about gender issues as well. I'm so happy to participate in this. Great. So do you want to just talk a bit about the work that you do? Yeah, of course. Uh, well, um, my title is Partnership and Research Mobilization Associate, uh, which means that um, I can uh, provide uh, some communication, cooperation with other NGOs all around the world um, to reach as much as possible gender equality and also promote women's rights in uh, every field and not just, um, you know, like not uh, exactly, in, um, how can I say, uh, sexual rep uh, and reproductive health and rights, also education rights and uh, even uh, very basic rights, like even, uh, even right to live as well and safe abortion also. Lovely. So, Augusta, uh, given that we are right now at the midpoint of, uh, you know, the SDGs, uh, I'm just wondering, given all the work that you do, do you think the world is uh, making good progress and we are going to meet the goals by 2030? Uh, well, honestly, uh, I think yes, um, especially according to my experience um, with Rosa, I can tell that especially women work really hard to reach their rights to achieve, uh, reach gender equality as well by um, NGOs like us and also by their self, by education. And I think also it's not uh, very visible in, let's say, Western um, media, like um, Eastern women's efforts as well to reach gender equality, but they make a lot of efforts and I'm so proud of it. Um, in, uh, I think someday, yes, uh, we would reach gender equality, but I think we have to still work a lot. I'm not sure if we can reach it 2030, but maybe later, who knows? But um, I am uh, optimistic about it, to be honest. And what do you think are the main challenges that, uh, you know, in the, say, the 90 months that we have ahead of us uh, until we reach 2030, what are the main challenges that you see uh, for us in really advancing? Uh, this work on gender equality? Uh, well, for me, main, uh, one of main challenges is uh, unfortunately uh, societies uh, themselves um, because um, there, are, uh, there are still very strict societies uh, about uh, talking about gender equality as well. And, they have still really strict laws about women's rights. Basically, there isn't uh, sufficient enough uh, regulations, national and both international terms, uh, regulation laws, conventions for women, unfortunately. And I think these two things are main challenges. First, the society's mentalities and second, the let's say uh, regulations and laws and sufficient regulation and laws unfortunately right uh, and what do you think needs to be done for both uh, well um, in my opinion um, um, 
education is a key instrument, to be honest, to achieve gender equality because thanks to education, uh, people can raise their awareness, the societies as well, but of course, uh, governments have a uh, crucial role about the education, about the development, improvement of education, access to education, especially in rural areas and conflict affected areas, because uh, women cannot reach, uh, especially in rural and conflicted areas easily, the education. And also men should be educated about women's rights and safe abortion as well. Uh, so beautiful, this thing you said about men need to be educated about women's rights. So uh, do you want to expand on that a bit? Yeah, uh, sure. Um, because, I mean, you know, we are a society not just uh, created by women. Also, we are living with men. And unfortunately, I can say unfortunately, because I think it's uh, still shame for this century. Most of governance uh, lead by men, not by women, unfortunately. And they can decide easily to start a war or like uh, we can see in Afghanistan, they decide to um, abolish all of uh, women's rights also, it, which is very sad. So that's why I think men education about women rights um, is crucial as well. I mean, of course, um, I am a huge supporter and promoter of women, girls education around the world, but also men should be educated about women's rights, about gender equality. They should be um, aware of it. And what do you think would be the best way to do that? Well, I think the best way is the international, uh, regional and local support for the education, like not just in uh, money terms uh, I am talking about. Also, they should promote this education, the gender equality education, not just for women. Also, they should promote for men also in um, very early ages in school, like uh, sex education as well. It's really important because uh, many girls in MENA region and Asia, uh, they even don't know uh, when, uh, what is happening when uh, they, and when their first period starts and they scared. And also it causes this uh, lack of education. It causes child marriage, the increase of child marriage. So uh, Goste, you've done so much work in um, the African and the Arab states, the MENA region. So, uh, you know, in terms of uh, uh, advancing gender equality, what are uh, some of the uh, uh, you know, key issues that you work on? Well, um, we are, uh, as I told you, we are make collaboration, we are making collaboration with other NGOs all around the world related with women's rights, especially about safe abortion, sexual and reproductive health and, health and rights. And also we are making research uh, about many topics related to women's rights, climate justice, also indigenous people, and also about LGBTQ rights as well. And uh, we are applying many projects to promote gender equality as well. Great. So uh, Gosse, as you know, the uh, Women Deliver Conference, uh, one of the largest conferences on gender equality is happening later this month in Kigali, Rwanda. So I'm just wondering, uh, what are your uh, expectations uh, from this conference? The theme of the conference is uh, spaces, solidarity, solutions. Uh, do you think it will help create inclusive spaces, foster solidarity and find sustainable solutions for gender equality? Uh, I think uh, it's really important conference and I think it will be helpful. Uh, well, it will be a important step for um, achieve sustainable uh, goals, sustainable gender equality also. And I think it's a um, good uh, way to, you know, make different collaboration uh, and 
many women can meet and um, I don't know, maybe they can make different projects as well. Maybe um, it can be decided about um, different workshops, seminars all around the world. And I think it would be uh, very efficient in terms of uh, women's rights and uh, collaboration, cooperation um, between women. Right. And um, do you think, uh, you know, opportunities, opportunities such as this where women, uh, you know, across uh, uh, the world come together, they uh, provide uh, great opportunities for us to advance this discourse? Uh, yeah. Um, well, I mean, as I told you, it's a good opportunity and I agree with you. Um, yeah. Great. Excellent. Lovely. So this has been uh, really wonderful to talk to you, Gose. Just uh, before we wrap up, just, uh, you know, uh, an open-ended question. If there's something you think that, you know, that has got missed out and, you know, you'd like to talk about when we talk about meeting the SDG goal for gender equality uh, over the next 19 months, is there something that we need to be really aware of so that we can all together meet the target? Um, well, um, once again, thanks for this opportunity to talk about gender equality, and it was a real pleasure to meet you. And for next uh, 19 months, uh, I think uh, for achieving sustainable development goals, um, Western world um, should give uh, more floor to Eastern world, Eastern women, I think. Otherwise, uh, I don't think we can reach sustainable development goals that quick. They Amazing. should be more inclusive. Beautiful, lovely. Thank you very much, Gose. Pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much for your very um, wonderful uh, you know, insights and everything that you flagged. You know, and this will be really, uh, you know, really useful as we look at the coming months ahead. And, all of us, you know, who are committed to uh, working on gender uh, justice, we can take this forward. You were listening to Gender Equality Talk Season 2, hosted by CNS, featuring Goste Ones, gender justice advocate working in the ROSA Alliance for African and Arab States. Until next time, thank you for listening and participating in this dialogue to demand progress for SDG 5 on gender equality. It's bye-bye for now. Thank you very much. <laughs>